guys, congratulations, another one. I mean, beat the 13th ranked team in the country, you're in first place, you know, by yourselves in the division. I know a lot of football left, but <laughs> how, does, how does this feel? Can you put it in words? Um, it feels right. We all expect it to be in a good spot at, at this point of the season, as long as we play the way we were supposed to play. And tonight, it all just came together. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. You're <laughs> Uh, it seemed like first half, you know, you had a couple big runs. The second half seemed like every three yards you had to fight for two and a half of them. Just how, you know, what was it like to go out there and and uh, kind of have to do that but come through? Uh, their defensive coordinators made great adjustments at halftime, and they had a good game plan coming out for the third quarter. Uh, we just had to fight for every yard we could, and I had to try to fight through every tackle. Your was a big difference for the defense. I think they got up 14 on you two different right. times, and. Throwing it, running it at will, and then the right. second half changed a little bit. Were there adjustments? What what yeah. kind of changed for you guys? Yeah, we it, the adjustments was huge for us. You know, we were, we were missing some fits. You know, missing some tackles, but you know, it, it really wasn't anything. You know, crazy, the huge adjustments. It was just us doing doing what we do. Really, uh, like I said, we didn't start well, but you know, we battled back, battled through adversity, and you could you could see in the second half how much better our defense was playing and. Uh, you know, that's really, that was really it, you know, uh, us just doing our base things right, and we were able to have more success when we were doing that, so. You're on the field in the back there when Chase loops around yeah. and forces that. What, 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 what did you see kind of develop in front of you? You know, I, I wasn't even looking, you know, I was making sure no one got behind me, but once I heard the crowd yell and I saw that ball bouncing, I mean, one of the best feelings probably in my entire life, just running down there knowing, I knew it was a safety because I, I had seen Chase hit him, after I had gotten deep enough to look, and then I saw the ball go in the back, and I thought, like, like this is actually happening right now, and I just screaming and yelling. So it was an awesome feeling. You got Chase. I mean, he's six foot, two hundred seventy pounds. He's probably the smallest interior defensive lineman in right. the country. Yet he makes a play like that. He made the play at CSU. What, what does he mean to this team and this defense? He's. I mean, that's 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 our team. We're blue collar, hard working guys. You know, Chase Appleby. You know, like you said, is all of six foot and all of however much he weighs, but he's out there, you know, mean mugging all the Boise State linemen on the number 13th ranked team in the nation. And, you know, before the game, everyone's ooh, Boise State, ooh, this and that. It's coach, that's Coach Bowles, you know, that's the culture we're build, building, you know. Blue collar, we're going to go out and punch you in the mouth, and guys like that are going to have success because we work hard. And, you know, it, it displayed tonight, and it's just a great feeling, you know, and really happy for Chase. And uh, he stepped up huge this season. I'm just really happy for him. Guys, for the both of you, when did it finally sink in that this completely happened? <laughs> Um, still hasn't. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. Uh, tonight we just have to handle some business. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>